welcome back to my channel happy vlogmas I was just sent this planner from nourishing minimalism and i really like it it's a bit more of an affordable option than the christian daily planner that i last showed you i chose this in the spiral bound soft version so it's a more of a floppy version um i will be using my christian daily planner which is up there as my main planner for the year so i thought we could do a giveaway for this one because it is a really lovely planner and i know what you guys are like and you seem to love planners as much as i do so i'm going to sit now and do a review for it for you and you can watch that and see if it's something that you would like and if this is a planner that you would like to get your hands on don't forget to drop a comment down below like this video and subscribe and then i will count how many comments i've got and I'll put it in Google's random number generator and then whichever number comes up I'll count down and that'll be the person who wins this just to make sure that it is fair so without further ado let's get into the planner so just so that you can see pricing wise it is £27 for this version which is the spiral version and then it's £29 if you wanted in a hard cover so I really like this cover it is super simple it just to me looks like a window with a table and a vase of flowers sitting on top of it so when you open it up you've just got your front cover there which is your if it's lost please return to page and then we've got the 2023 2024 calendar and then we've also got a perpetual calendar for the whole year going across through january through december and then you just have these dotted pages and then we've got, I don't know if this is a hymn or a poem, but it's called Christ Be All. And then we have our January calendar, which is just a month on two pages spread across, which I really like. Plenty of space to write in these boxes. And we also have a box up here for goals. And then some scripture here from Titus 3 verses three to seven and then it goes into our weekly so this is the first week of january you've got your days of the week along the top starting on a sunday and it starts from 5 a.m all the way down to 10 p.m which is excellent because if you like to do time block and that gives way more time than a lot of planners out there that i've seen typically i see them go from 7 a.m till 7 p.m so it's awesome that this one goes from 5 till 10 and then we've also got the calendar at the top again and a little bit of a to-do list here and then it also has a question for you ponder which is what is something you can do this week to slow down and at the bottom you've got notes and over here you've got a more dotted version in case you want to do some bullet journaling or anything like that and that's how the weekly layout looks and then again the next month is separated by two sheets of dotted paper which could be Great for planning out goals, shopping lists, meal planners, all that type of thing. And then we have a section which is entitled Periodic Ponderings. And it says, what are you grateful for this past month? What is something that you learned last month? What have you been praying for this month? What specific ways have you seen God work? What has been going on in the lives of those you love? Is there anything burdening you or that you are rejoicing over? How did you spend your time this last month? Are you happy with it? Who would you like to connect with this month? Do you have plans to make do you have plans in place to make it happen? List three things you would like to spend time doing this month and what you need to put in place so it will happen. And what funny, inspirational or thought-provoking story happened this last month? This is a really cool section that I think once the year is over to come back and read through this would be awesome just to kind of see the things that went on. Then we have a picture for us to colour in and we have another poem or song here and then it goes into February. And this time rather than a scripture we have something from Charles Spurgeon which is focused on praying and working. But again you have your goals and your monthly spread and that is how the planet just goes throughout all of the different months. And we have a different picture each month too so I'll just flick through so you can see what this looks like. This is a really cool planner. If it wasn't for the Christian Daily, Pl Daily Planner, I would absolutely use this one. And then at the very back, you also have space just to plan out your January 2024, which you can then transfer into your new diary once you get to that year. So I think that's really cool. It's just the monthly spread. Then we have contact book. So you've got all your contacts in here. Anything to do with travel plans. So we've got budget, accommodation, address, phone check-in, to-do list. Then we have a meal section, so you can plan out breakfast, lunch and dinner ideas. Gift ideas, books and movies, ways to pause and slow down, and then more dotted paper. And there's quite a lot of this as well, which is great if you like me and you like to take your diary everywhere with you. You can take so many notes here and jot down ideas. You could do sermon notes in here 
and then it also has some plain paper right at the back and then you reach the end of the planner so let me know your thoughts on this planner if it's something that you think that you would benefit from or like to have in your life and i will be sure to make that drawing what day we are now it is wednesday so I'll give you until next Wednesday which is the 14th I will let the winner know that they have won this planner and yeah I'm excited to see who gets it I would love to keep it for myself but I've got my diary for next year so I don't want to kind of clutter my brain and have too many diaries going on and this one is a really really nice one so I'm excited to give that away to one of you anyway I hope you're all well please keep us in your prayers especially my little one Thomas with his pneumonia um, I really appreciate that and let me know if there's any way I can be praying for you as well um, and I will see you hopefully tomorrow in the next vlog see you then bye <music>